Hello everyone, welcome to my new video on qualitative research analysis. Today we will see how we can do analysis based upon social media content. For all this we need NVivo Plus version. We all must agree with me that social media contains enormous data in the form of various tweets, Facebook posts, pictures, blog posts and many more. And this data can be used if properly as very meaningful results. So in this video we will do analysis based upon a social platform named as Twitter. Agenda for the video is we'll see how we can import the tweets. Based on the tweets how we can do analysis, auto generation theme, sentiment analysis, creation of graphs and chart and a very useful utility Twitter sociogram. So let's start. First, we need to log in to our Twitter account and we need to search certain keyword or hashtag. You, here you can search any hashtag, a keyword or you can visit any profile. So I can, I've already written search Bharat Abhyan. I've searched it. It is showing the results. All the tweets having Swatch Bharat Abhyan as hashtag is listed here. What we need to do is we'll go to our icon and capture for MEO. We'll click on this and it will help us in downloading all the tweets. The only question is to get accurate data, you need to download tweets on a regular interval right so this will help us in downloading tweets in the screen and capture so it's asking us to, in which format we will save whether pdf or data sets let's go for data set and i'm saving it to the name of swatch one and capture This is capturing the tweets. In the meantime, we'll go to our NVivo interface. Here is the interface of NVivo. I've already downloaded tweets from IPL auctions 2020, which was the latest buzzword. Let's see how it goes with such. So it is downloaded. So what we'll do, we'll go to import. We'll click on end capture well import we'll select it search by Tabian well import so now we have two files here I will 2020 auction and search by Tabian so I'll help you out how to do analysis based upon tweets so let's uh, do with the IPL option first. If I double click on this thing, it will open up a new doc resulting in a table which is showing 1677 records. This means these are the number of tweets we have downloaded. So this is the tweet ID, username, what is the tweet, the date, time, type, if it is retweeted or not, number of number of retweet, hashtag used, who they have mentioned. So this table has complete information. The username and everyone, location and bio. So to start with, first we'll see how to do auto coding. We'll click on this, right click. Auto code. This dialog box has four options identify themes, identify sentiments, use style and structure, use existing codes. One by one, let's start with identify theme. If I want to identify a theme out of that particular file I have, I'll click, I'll select identify theme. I click on next. You're seeing preparing to identify themes. 
So it is identifying themes out of the tweets, 1600 tweets we have downloaded from the Twitter with hashtag IPL auction 2020. Let's wait. So out of that particular files, NVivo has identified various themes, various sub themes like auction, franchisee, auction money, gestures, which is mentioned like 143 times word auction, 118 times word franchisee, finish. Let's code the complete thing into tabular form, finish. So this is the result we have. It is showing 143 times auction what has been used, 170 times auction money, 81 times buy, and so on. And when we see comparison, like here a table, let me undock it. It is showing this, these number of references in auction money by let's click on any of the select spinner that means direct coding reference is 129 indirect one which gives us this particular area this particular percentage is being consumed by these words Okay, moving to next chart. This will showcase yes, here it is. How many times a word has been used? Coming to next thing. I'll again go to auto code and this is the important thing which is identify sentiments click on next let's code the entire data set finish it is processing this wait how does it gives us the sentiment analysis of particular themes it will take some time So here we have out of 1620 20 tweets the 292 times quite moderate positive words are used and very positive words are 42 moderately negatively used words are 33 and 28 are very negative words so we can do plus and minus showing the we can see percentage here the 77 percent are, are being moderately positive words and what are these moderately positive positive words we can click on and it will take up to that particular tweet like um, Sehwag school where the Sehwag school very lucky happy like you see happy to see if you're very if you're happy to see love this so these are quite positive words and Doing the arithmetics with this, you can easily say this is quite positive sentiment for this particular file. Moving to next, we'll go again to this thing, auto code and use style and structure. Click on next. It is automatically showing that this is something which is for Twitter, predefined Twitter columns. Here we have hashtags, username, we can use mentions. It will create further notes for it. And finish. It is processing. It is creating nodes out of the complete tweet file.
it is already it is already uh, showing there are 725 nodes with 12192 references so here we have nodes here you can easily make out the IPL auction is used one two double four times so you click on this while double clicking on this it will show the number of tweets where they have mentioned IPL 2020 IPL auction 2020 and for this also we can see cases username if we sort on the basis of descending order MI Pelton is a username which has done 400 tweets mentioning IPL 2020 auction and if hashtag IPL auction 1244 times right so next thing what we'll do we'll go to files we'll double click on IPL auction 2020 if we go to chart from the side it is giving a graph based upon username that one particular username has and how many tweets so we can always change the value select data based upon username or based upon location so you can easily see from maximum tweet is from Mumbai India followed by Chennai India then Eden Gardens then India uh, as a word right going to the next cluster analysis we can do a cluster analysis of the tweet mention having hash word IPL 2020 auction so let's con convert into 3D diagram first so here we have clusters of more than 10 words it is a 3d representation like marvelous csk cricket.com maha supporter right interesting thing now map this is an inbuilt feature of in vivo where it shows tweets are from which particular location geographical location here one six to see from Chennai Nasik Ahmedabad Indore two tweets from Indore so this how we can see which geographical location from which geographical location we are getting tweets and last is Twitter sociogram it gives us relation among the tweets the username the hashtag and the mentions so let's click on it let me undock it first Nothing helps you in viewing the things in a more appropriate manner. Right, here we have. So let me zoom it into one particular chunk. like these are the username who has rcb tweets in common like see let me go to other chunk Oof. So let me go to this chunk will give you a better insight of the work
So this username has mentioned these particular usernames further. Okay, let me make it more clear while going to moving it to another chunk. That SRK fan162 has mentioned they retweeted someone with this usernames. Okay, we have another option also. You can see who has retweeted to whom. So here it is. It is like let me zoom it. So these are the few people who have retweeted a particular tweet. If I am able to show you out, zoom out, which has been done by this particular user. I need to zoom it on. Lawyership. So that's how you can analyze tweets. You can analyze the data from which you can get some meaningful information. Similar ways, you can also analyze information based upon your Facebook, your blogs, and many other things. Thank you for this video. Hope you soon see.